Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Estoy elaborando este video para los alumnos de tercer grado y para los padres de los mismos. Espero que les sea de alguna utilidad. Uh, desafortunadamente, este encierro al que nos vemos sometidos por causas ajenas totalmente a nosotros, pues nos va a impedir tener clases en sitio durante algún tiempo. Entonces, estos videos espero que sirvan como guía para lo que los alumnos deberán de estar viendo durante el resto del ciclo escolar. Dentro de lo mismo, uno de los primeros puntos que debemos de dejar en claro es lo que es nuestro producto para esta ocasión. En esta ocasión estamos hablando de algo que se llama Best Wishes Cards. Poder elaborar unas tarjetas de buenos deseos donde los alumnos manifiesten su intención de desearle el bien a alguien. Establecer también necesidades prácticas y cosas que necesitan o quieren. Por esa razón, esperamos que al final del ciclo podamos tener, en este caso de este mes, una tarjeta de buenos deseos. Hay que hacer mención a algo en este caso, eh, que el tema de tener una tarjeta de buenos deseos o donde expresemos cosas que necesitemos, ya lo hemos visto con anterioridad durante este ciclo escolar. Hace ya algunos meses vimos con los alumnos palabras tales como need, want, wish, especificando cuál era el significado de las mismas y cuándo se podían utilizar. Eso lo vamos a estar retomando en este caso durante esta semana y parte de la que venga tal vez. De hecho, en el libro de los alumnos ya deben de estar llenas algunas de estas páginas empezando por la página número 6. Y esas páginas que se llenaron son también además la 7, la 8, la 9, la 10 hasta la 12 si no me equivoco. En todo caso y para confirmar, les agradecería que revisaran por favor en los libros de sus eh, hijos y deberán de tener llenas estas páginas. Es posible que tal vez su alumno o su hijo, mejor dicho, no cuente con ese material. De ser así, pues por favor háganoslo saber para ver eh, cuál sería el siguiente paso a seguir. Okay. En todas estas páginas lo que estamos viendo son conversaciones en las cuales los alumnos fueron estableciendo su conocimiento sobre palabras tales como want o wish. El ejemplo más claro tal vez se pueda ver en la página 11, eh, donde nosotros tenemos a estas personas que están aquí dibujadas y donde teníamos que identificar las frases y saber relacionarlas. La mayor parte de los alumnos lo hicieron bien en su momento, así que espero que no haya problema en un momento dado en recordarlo. También la siguiente página es muy ilustrativa, esta es la página número 13, que en ella vienen varias cosas que son eh, objetos o artículos o alimentos que nosotros queremos o deseamos, we want or we wish. Así que en este caso espero que si se deba de hacer algún, alguna repaso del mismo me lo hagan saber a través de los comentarios. Gracias. A partir de este instante iniciaremos con inglés. Gracias de antemano nuevamente. Ok, so basically what we are trying to do here is to create our own best wishes cards. A best wishes card can vary. For example, it can be just a best wishes card. Normally, we will find this kind of cards when some adults send them to another person, another people. They will normally have a message. In this case, we can read it here. May the angels protect you. May sadness forget you. May goodness surround you. May happiness be around you. And may God always bless you. These are the kind of best wishes cards that you will get. Sometimes you can get something funny, like in this case. In this one it says, you better get well. This is a character from some comics, some kind of uh, adult, those comic strips that are in newspapers sometimes. Sometimes it can be something funnier. You'll be back to yourself in no time if someone is sick or has some kind of health problem. Also, you can have a bad wish cards like in Mother's Day. Like for example, this one. You are a great, great mom, very special, very beautiful, really terrific. Everyone agrees. Uh, this is, a, in a way, a comic card. And also, of course, you can have a happy birthday card. 
all of them represent a best wishes card one way or another. Now, every card has three parts. The beginning, the body, and the closure. The beginning is in the upper part, in the top of this, up. The body normally is in the center, in the center, and the closure is down in the lower part of the card. Up, beginning, body, closure. Up, beginning, from, body, down, closure. Normally those are the three parts in each card. Now please remember that. Beginning, up, body, in front, just in the middle, and the closure in the lower part down okay i'm going to ask you to go and pick your notebook and copy this i'm not sure what i'm pointing at these words beginning body and closure please do that normally i like to use this kind of drawing to explain this normally i draw of a boat on the board so i'm going to ask you to please copy this drawing Copy the drawing and remember, the beginning always goes up like the head, the body always goes in the front like your body, and the closure always goes down like your feet. Okay? Please copy that. I'm going to give you some minutes to do that. I want you to remember that we have, in this case, done this before. We already have done this kind of exercise, trying to identify what is the beginning and what is the ending. Ending is the same as closure. This word ending means that everything has finished, the ending. So in this case, we have done that kind of exercise before, and I'm going to do a, some uh, way, a uh, similar kind of exercise now. Because I'm going to put on screen a few cards and you're going to try to identify what is the beginning, what is the closure, and what will be the body in this case. I hope that you get that clear. So once again, this is the robot. Uh, we can call it in a different way, so you normally call it Osomo. And we have that the beginning is always on top, like the head, that the body is in the middle, in the center message and the closure is the last part okay so what we're going to do is to look at these messages and find what is the beginning I want you to copy them and then please identify which part is the beginning which part is the closure and which part is the body okay I'm going to pause this one here and I want you to pause it you, uh, I mean in your houses as well, so we can continue with that. Copy this in your notebook. Copy it. Okay? Thank you. I'm going to pause it. Pause it, please. Now the second one. This says, Mom, I need you. Sincerely, Danny. You need to identify again what is the beginning, what is the message, the body, and what is the closure. Okay, you're going to write these three words in each of the messages, beginning, body, and closure. Here we go. This is the first card. This is the second one. Mama, I need you sincerely, Danny. I'm going to pause it so you can copy it. Please pause it so you can copy the message. Okay, this is the last one. It says, friend, get well soon. Love, caddy. Please copy it and please identify each of them. Very good. What you should have is this. In the first example, the beginning says, 
get married. Buddy could be the happy birthday to you. And finally, the closure or the ending or finishing is hugs and smiles. Jack, hugs and smiles. For the example number two, the beginning says, Mom, the body should be I need you, and the closure sincerely Danny. And finally, for the example number three, we should have the beginning with friend, the body should be get well soon, and the closure love Katie. Or Katie in this case. Katie should be in the beginning. Is that correct with you? Do you got the same results? The same uh, answers? I hope so. As I said before, there are some other ways to celebrate. Some cases will find you sending cards related to some other events. For example, a birthday, New Year, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Mother's Day, Easter. All of these, probably you know them. Birthday is when you become a year older. New Year is on December the 31st and January the 1st. Actually, that January 1st is the New Year. Uh, Valentine's Day, February the 14th. Christmas, December 25th. Uh, Mother's Day in Mexico is May the 10th. Easter. This celebration, Easter, is the one that we are actually celebrating at this moment. It's a Christian uh, celebration. And normally we have a week. Normally this is called in Spanish Semana Santa, Pascua. Podría ser la otra traducción. So we need to know all of them. And then we can make phrases. The first word, have. Remember what have is? ¿Se acuerdan de lo que es have? That's right. Have significa tener. Have. And then we can make combinations. Have a happy Christmas. Have a great birthday. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. We can combine all of these words and we can make new expressions. All of them are designed to be a best wishes expression. Okay? We can combine all of them. Happy. You know what happy is? You can check that in your dictionary. I am going to translate that at the end of this uh, session. Happy. Great. Beautiful. Amazing. Blessed. Wonderful. Happy. What is the meaning of happy in Spanish? That's right. Feliz. What is the meaning of great in Spanish? Grandioso, great, grandioso, beautiful, hermoso, amazing, sorprendente, blessed, bendecido, bendito, wonderful, maravilloso. So we can combine that. Ten una hermosa Navidad. Ten. Un bendecido día de las madres. Have a blessed Mother's Day. Have a beautiful Christmas. Have an amazing birthday. Have a happy new year. And we can combine all of them. I hope that you can uh, understand that. And I hope that you can create new expressions whenever you want. We're going to do something here. For this activity, you can look for this kind of drawing either online. How to make, you know, a uh, little dice. And then you can write the words on each of the sides of the dice. You can write good, happy, wonderful, beautiful, amazing, terrific, whatever the word that you prefer. But I'm going to explain that in the next video.